welcome to Dish with Trish and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a nice little recipe, but down in the south they consider it to be a caviar. And that would be a pimento cheese, which in this case we're going to be making pimento cheese bites. And what we're going to do is make up this cheese and then we're going to pile some of the cheese onto some crackers. Today I'm going to be using almond nut thins. These are nut and rice crackers and of course they are gluten free. If you're on a gluten free diet, this is the perfect cracker that you can use to quick nice appetizer. I'm making these little pimento cheese bites just for a snack. For kind of like a midnight snack actually. Come on over and I'll show you the ingredients that we're going to be using to make this really good quick pimento cheese. Next up we have our peppers and as you can see these are red and yellow peppers. I have roasted these guys for about 50 minutes in my oven on 400 degrees so they're all ready for us to use. We're also going to need cheddar cheese, two cups, um, of your choice, of course. A quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. One third cup of sour cream. Also, one third cup of our mayonnaise. Our ingredients are black pepper, a dash. Cayenne red pepper, a dash. One half teaspoon of paprika. One tablespoon of chopped parsley. Now, to garnish our pimento cheese bites, we're going to use some olives. We have about ten olives that are cut in half. And we also have one teaspoon of chives that are minced up. And that'll do it for this recipe. So the first thing that we're going to do is take our roasted red peppers and we're going to dice them very thinly. Just pop them on our cutting board. When I was roasting my red peppers, I did add about a tablespoon of olive oil to my pan here. So there is a little juice from our roasted red peppers. What we're going to do is just pop our juice right into our bowl. It's really good. And we're just going to chop our peppers very finely. Mm, they smell really good. We've got our two red peppers cut up very finely. If you were going to measure the amount of these, I would say it's about two cups. Which, unless you'd like to have less roasted red peppers, then you can just go ahead and use one roasted pepper. Now the first thing we're going to do is add our roasted peppers into our bowl. It goes our roasted peppers and we're going to add our juice right in there with them. These peppers are bursting with flavor. Add in our two cups of cheddar cheese. Our fourth a cup of Parmesan cheese. Third cup of mayo. Third cup of sour cream. Our dash of cayenne pepper. Black pepper. Our teaspoon of chopped parsley. And our teaspoon and our half teaspoon of paprika. In it goes. Right, we've got everything in there now. Alright, now that we have everything in here, we're just going to give it a good mix. And there it is. There we have it, our pimento cheese is finished up. It smells really good. Wasn't that quick? Already got all the ingredients combined to make our pimento cheese. Just gonna take our little round crackers, pop on some cheese, pop on an olive, a little bit of chives. I'll show you what it looks like and then we'll give it a try. Okay, there we go. Don't those look yummy? We're just gonna pop on chive. Yes, you can. On goes our green olive. There we have it. Okay, so here we go. Our late night snack is all finished. We have our pimento cheese on a really nice, light, gluten-free rice cracker. And to garnish our pimento bites, we've added on a little bit of chives and, and half of a slice of an olive onto each of these guys. And now we're going to try one of these and just see how it tastes. So here we go. Mm. are really good. They're really yummy. The roasted pepper in here is what really makes these bites taste very delicious. Now if you don't want to use your pimento cheese to make the little bites, what you can do is make a pimento cheese grilled cheese. And what you'll do with that is just put the cheese on your bread just like you would a grilled cheese sandwich. Maybe add on a tomato and grill it just like you would a grilled cheese sandwich. And I know that turns out really good too. You can also make little tea bite sandwiches with this pimento cheese, which works out really well and it serves up great and people love them that way too. 
And now if you want your cheese smoother, you can pop it into your blender, your food processor. That's some texture to ours in this recipe, which I chose to do. But if you don't want to do that, then just make it smooth and use your gadgets from home and you'll be all set to go. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.